multiplication property of equality. So the multiplication property says that if I'm given a equal to b, then I can take any value c and I can multiply both sides by it and the expression will still stay true or the equality will still stay true. So, why would we need this in an algebraic setting? Okay, well, a lot of times in algebra we're given basic problems that say something like um, if, so let's call this problem number one, if x equals five, then two x is equal to blank. Okay, so we're trying to figure out what goes into that value. Well, basically what this says, if we're looking here, is this now becomes our C value. That's basically the C. Okay, so what it says is by the equality property, I can then take X equals 5. I can multiply both sides by 2. And what does that give me? Well, on the left-hand side, it gives me 2x. And on the right side, it gives me 10. So it tells me that 2x must be equal to 10. Okay, pretty straightforward. Let's look at where this really becomes a useful property. So what happens if it says solve for x. And the problem is one third x is equal to five. Okay, so now what I'm looking for is how can I get that one third, this piece right here, how can I get that to go away? What can I multiply by in order to reduce that? Well, if I multiplied both sides here, multiply that by three, and that by 3. Remember, you have to do both sides because we want to keep this balanced. So what happens then on the far left is that this 3 and this 3 will reduce because 3 divided by 3 will give us 1. So it kind of reduces out the problem, just leaves us x. And on the other side, when we go ahead and multiply these together, we get 3 times 5, which is 15. So we now have our solution, and that's based off the multiplication property of equality.